let me show you how to finish an embroidery project and get it all ready to go on the wall. So here I'm just undoing a zip tie around my new hoops. I got them from Amazon. I really like them. I'll be linking them below. I twisted it and the zip tie broke and it just fell everywhere. But I picked the hoop that's about the right size. It's the one I embroidered in. And um, usually I wouldn't take it out, but I had to use the hoop for something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the two layers, unscrew the top, pull out the bottom, put the fabric on top of the bottom one, which doesn't have an adjustable thing on it. And I'll add the adjust and make sure it's right side up and everything, cause you want the adjusting thing on the top. And tighten that and pull the fabric and make sure it's really taut and centered and perfect because once you fix it up and glue it it's not coming out so make sure it's really nice and tight and centered and facing up and all of that so out here I'm just pulling the fabric make sure it's really nice and taut especially since I have letters on this I want to make sure that they are you know stretched out just perfectly because when you embroider you're embroidering on stretched fabric so when you do hang it and you know, glue it it needs to be stretched so that the letters don't look weird so i got out my high temperature hot glue gun it's hot pink i know it's i'm noxious but my high temp hot glue gun and i'll be using that later um I use ginger scissors for trimming off the extra. I only leave maybe like a quarter of a centimeter. I don't leave, or a quarter of an inch. That would be a lot little. Um, I, don't, I don't leave much anyway. And I just trim that off with my ginger scissors around, doing my best to keep it in an even, but it really doesn't matter that much. <laughs> I dropped it. Don't do that part. That's definitely not in the instructions. But trim all that off, and you'll see why in just a second. We're gonna tuck it under. I know some people love the sound. I wanted to leave it, but it makes some people cringe, so I don't know. So then I'm gonna take my hot glue gun, and I'm gonna um, glue the inside ring. I'm gonna glue the top of the inside ring, and it takes a technique, you know, you learn things. But I'm just gonna put little bits of glue and go section by section. And I'm gonna tuck the fabric, you can't really see too well, I, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna glue a little bit and then tuck the fabric around and I'm gonna try to tuck the fabric all the way around so that it's not, you know, sticking straight out or, you know, just make it look good. It really just does take some practice and technique. But I've been doing this for a very long time. So I'll go little by little and glue and glue and make sure I don't leave any strings, make sure it's like looking nice and all that. So here's a little bit of where you can see a little better. Um, I was just doing my best to try to tuck it under and make it look smooth on the back. Um, I do a little bit, but one good trick, because I know it's really hard to not get those strings. So one really good trick that I heard a long time ago, I don't know how long ago, is um, when you have a string, just spin it around because the hot, the like dried string will touch the hot tip of the um, glue gun and it'll melt the string and, you know, cut it off essentially. Don't do what I did. I stuck my finger in the hot glue and I got like a whole thing all over. It was, it didn't hurt that bad, but it was a mess. <laughs> okay, so once you have your backs tucked under and you're ready to hang it on the wall or hang it on something, then you have to put twine through here or, you know, put something, whatever you want to do there. I have this jar of like random twine. <laughs> I always just pick whatever works from there. I have like ribbons in here. It's, it's a mess, but I'll probably use this one. It's just, um, it's like a gardening twine, but I think it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to cut maybe five, six inches of this. 
don't know, you know, however much you want. I have a wall of random ones, so I might as well make some shorter or longer. Then I'm gonna thread it through the, like, tightening thing. And just tie a little knot at the top. And trim off the edges. They just have a little bit of a knot. Here, hold on, hold on. The knot. And then you can take this and like hang it on a nail on a wall or something just through the little like loopy. And you won't even see the back, but I try to keep my backs clean. This one is definitely not clean. I try to keep them pretty good, but this one's just in my house. It's all done.